all right hi you guys so welcome back to my channel um i did this new year's eve kind of eyeshadowy kind of look um i feel like this would be really good for like a new year's eve kind of party or new year's eve or hell if you even just want to do your makeup for new year's and just do it just do it so this is like my first makeup tutorial ish kind of thing that i did um a lot of it i used the products in makeup that I got for Christmas and a lot of uh, stuff so I'm gonna try and like mention the brushes and products that I use a lot but yeah so if you liked how this came out and you want to see how I did it then uh, please keep watching thank you <laughs> This thing never stays on. Does anybody else have a problem with these? I feel like my head is too big because it just, it never stays on. Like it always comes off and it's so annoying. I already moisturized my face. I use this moisturizer. This is a really good moisturizer. I feel like this focus thing is gonna be an issue, but I'm just bear with me if I'm not in focus. I am in focus. However, the products, I'm not sure if they're gonna be in focus. So, I use Becca primer, a generous amount, and I kind of just put it in the areas that I get oily, like my forehead, because I have really oily skin. My cheeks. My chin. And I'm gonna grab just a little bit more. Um, and I'm gonna go on the corners of my nose. I get oily here really bad. Okay. And then I go in with this Clinique moisturizer. I use just a little itty bit amount. I put it on the top of my nose, rub it in my hands. My fingers, I mean. I rub it in my fingers. And just put it on top of my nose. Then I have a eyeshadow primer that I use. I use this Smashbox one. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this Smashbox one. I've been using Smashbox primer for a while. And I feel like I need a different kind of primer. Um, if there's any other ones out there you like. Because... Um, I just feel like this isn't really, I mean, it's a good primer, but it's just, I've been using it for a while and I feel like it kind of just stopped working a little bit. So with my Holy Grail foundation, which is the Estee Lauder Double Wear, <sighs> I love this foundation. This has been my go-to foundation for a very long time. I remember all of the foundations that I used to use. And I just put it... <clears throat> Why do I do this to myself? I just put it on my face. And just kind of go like this. I hate, I hate the feeling of foundation on my nails and my fingers, so I always just wipe it off with a makeup wipe. After I do my foundation, I usually start with my brows. So I use a brow brush with a spoolie on the end. I kind of just go in and if you, I'm going to get really close to my mirror, so I'm sorry if you can't see, but I'm blind and I have my contact lenses on. But even when I have my contact lenses on, I'm still blind. So, yeah, I know I need a new prescription. 
I'm just going. I just get some of this. Um, I've been using this MAC eyeshadow for a long time for um, color. Uh, but it's just the MAC Expresso single eyeshadow little pod thingy. Um, I've been using this color for a very long time, since like high school. Um, this is really the only color that I use for my eyebrows. So, I just kind of line the bottom. Like so. And line the outer part. And then I kind of just lightly do the top. So I just kind of like outline and then I just kind of go in. One brow down, next one to go. It may look a little crazy, a middle, um, may look a little crazy. May look a little crazy, may look a little bushy, but I'm going to conceal them with some concealer in a little bit. I feel like they're I feel like they're somewhat evenish. So now I'm just gonna go in with under eye concealer um, that I use for under my eyes. I'm gonna conceal the bottom of my brows, and then I'm actually going to use my foundation color, and I'm gonna do the tops of my brows. So this is the concealer that I use. I've been using this Tarte Shape Tape for a very very long time. This is really like one of the best concealers I've ever, ever used, ever. So I just pop it out. I use this like Morphe M421 flat top brush-ish, kind of. And I just go in with under my brow. So the trick is to just get the next one just like it.
Now that I have the bottom of my brows concealed, I'm going to go in with my Estee Lauder, the same foundation, and I'm just going to do the tops. <laughs> Now that I am done with concealing my brows and filling them in, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go in with um, this Gimme Brow from Benefit. Um, this color, it's a little too brown for my hair color, for my eyebrows. I usually am a three, but they were out of threes, like always. I feel like Ulta is always out of the three. So I got a 3.5. It's a little too brown brick ish for me but it's what I have to use so until I can you know go back and see if they have a three I have to use this one I feel like this brow always comes out so pretty and then there's this one all right i really want to go in with this palette that michael got me for christmas um let's just open it up and see what we can do I feel like I feel like this one is calling out to me. <laughs> uh, I really just wanted to do like a simple look too. So that one is called Make Believe. Well, we gonna try and make believe some work today. <laughs> And then I get to use the new Jeffree Star brushes that I have. So, I'm going to go in with this top one right here called Savage. Again, this is the Morphe 3503. <laughs> It's a pretty color. That's a really pretty color. So now I'm going to go in with like a brownery kind of red brick color, but it's more of like a darker color. It's called uh, Domination and it's this bottom one right here. And I'm only going to do my outer corners. I 
I feel like I'm not getting the darkness that I want. So, I'm going to go in with some molder. And there's a key. There's a key card that I'm reading the names off of, so I have to keep putting it back on to see. But I'm just going to go in with smolder. And I'm going to keep it only in the outer corner and bring it up just a little bit. talking about <laughs> now that is what I was looking for all right now the fun begins I'm gonna go in with this urban decay all-nighter uh, makeup setting spray. I'm gonna spray my brush. My battery is dying. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I had to switch batteries. But um, so I'm just gonna quickly go in with the setting spray on this same brush collection, and it is JS11. Pick up that make believe color right here in the center, and I'm gonna just do in the inner corner what is that called again cut crease <laughs> cut crease Ooh, I'm skewed okay I have to go pull this up close to me While I just finished that, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go back in with this Tarte Shape Tape and I'm going to conceal my under eyes to get rid of a lot of the fallout that happened while I was putting on the shadow. Okay. I'm going to go in with the Park Ave Princess Palette from Tarte and I always use this second color called Enhance right here. I use it for my under eyes. So let's do that. Then I'm going to go in with that enhance, tap my brush, look up. It was a little too white for me. I recently just got, um, I just changed my foundation from the Estee Double Wear, the Dusk, to the, I'm now Ivory Beige. So... I think that this Tarte concealer is a little bit too, too um, light for me because this is light neutral and I don't think I'm light neutral anymore. Okay. And then once you look like a ghost, 
I go in with this e.l.f. pointed powder brush and I use the same palette for my contour. I'm going to go in with Princess Cut. I do just up here, just a little bit up here. I don't bring it all the way down. I just kind of do that. Same thing on the other side. I don't bring it all the way down. Whatever's left over on my brush. I do a little on the top of my forehead near my hairline. And that's about it for contouring. Alright, so now I'm going to go back in with my eyeshadow palette. Um, I'm going to go in with that brown color that I used. Smolder. And I'm just going to do uh, my outer corners under my eye. Like so. Just the outer corner. Then I use like this flat top brush. I believe that this is Morphe. Yeah. Morphe M432 brush. And then I'm going to go in with that color, the glitter that I did on my crease, and I'm going to just do the inner part right here. Michael also got me this Morphe blush contour palette, the blush palette, um, so I'm going to go in with Witty right there and just go very lightly like that. I'm gonna do a little too much. You can go over it with that brush that you use for your under eye to tone it down a little bit. What a color! Michael also got me this Makeup Revolution highlighter palette, so we'll see how this one goes. They're not named or anything, but I'll just do this one. I'm going to go in with a brush like this. This is a Real Techniques setting brush. We'll see how this goes. Hold on. That's nice. Okay, I'm going to go in with this Real Techniques accent brush. It's super tiny. I'm just going to grab some of that highlighter, go down the bridge of my nose. Go on my cupid's bow. I'm going to go on the top of my lip. Alright, so now I'm going to go in 
with my mascara i'm using this maybelline the colossal big shot i've been using this for a while so i'm just gonna go in and coat my lashes really quickly before i put on my fake lashes Now that I'm done with my coating my lashes, I'm going to use these Ardell Double Up. These are Double Up Wispies. Um, last time I put them on, I didn't really like how they looked, but I'm going to give them another try because I like Wispies, but I feel like my eyes were too small for these, but I'm going to just give it another try. And then for the lash glue, I always use this duo, the white one, the brush on adhesive one. Um, this one doesn't irritate my eyes. A lot of the other ones do, but that one does not irritate my eyes. Alright, I had to take that belt thing off because it was falling off. It never stays on my big old head. So now I'm just going to place these lashes on... Here's the one lash. I have these, I have these tweezer, lash tweezers from Ulta. They're like super long. Just kind of like pinch my lashes together. Now I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to do the bottom lashes. Do I want to do a nude lip? Now I'm just going to do the lips. So I have NYX Citrine. SPL843 lip liner. And now I'm going to go in with this Tartus, this Tarte Tartus lip paint. This is in the color Bestie. you guys that is it for this look i hope you enjoyed my first makeup get ready with me tutorial thing um this is like a good like new year's eve kind of look so i'm very happy with it i'm very happy with the way the eyeshadow came out everything came out really nice thank you for watching uh if you like this video give it a thumbs up um and make sure you subscribe to my channel and check out my vlogs I do do um, vlogs here on my channel as well. And yeah, thank you.